What advice would you give to an aspiring actor who's just starting out in the industry and wants to be the next Sunny Say? I believe, I think uh, consistency, as you know, everybody knows that consistency is more important. And if somebody is starting with it, they should understand that if you might get rejected, you might fail. But even if you. So, uh, Sonny, thank you so much. You know, uh, you've played a you've played a lot of roles throughout your career. So I'm curious when you were like first reading the script, when they first pitched you this character of love and uh, love key arranged marriage, what were the first things that ran through your mind? What, what did you like about the role? So firstly, Raj Chandana is a very dear friend of mine who's the producer of the film. So he always wanted to work with me and it was likewise because we are friends first. And then he used to, even we used to meet normally for a coffee or something like that. He used to tell me, uh, we have a new script. Do you want to work on this? I said, let's go. Let's do it. So he offered me this film like one and a half year back, I think. Then I said, okay, let's roll. So he then set it up and he did the casting and stuff. And I was ready to work on it. I just wanted to go on flow and shoot. So this is the way it happened. And I don't want to think a lot because Raj is a friend and I trust him blindly. And if you see his work has been very commendable and everybody is a fan of his movies. You know the way he makes it, even the writing part or whatever it is, it's it's always good. And there's a quirky that's in the film. <laughs> well, in this film, they the movie explores the concept of love arising from an arranged marriage. Do you think arranged marriages can be just as successful as love marriages? Why or why not? It actually depends. Like, each to its own, you know? And if somebody is into a, somebody is love, is into a love marriage and they it's the same thing for an arranged marriage because it's just that whom you love and what the person is and uh, how and, and it depends on the parents also. You know, there are difficulties in love marriage, there are difficulties in the arranged marriage also. And if you love someone and you make your parents meet them, meet like you meet your partner, then I think it's love and arrange both these days. So it depends, it really depends on person to person. But I genuinely feel uh, in love marriage because I know the person and you have spent so much time with that person and when you make the, your partner meet your parents, then it's like an arranged thing, you know. So I believe love marriage is better. Okay. Uh, um, now, you collaborated in this movie with Avni Kaur, and the chemistry in the movie is really, really good. It's really fun to see that. And she, I got to speak with her the other day, and she talked a little bit about your relations behind the camera where you guys were able to you know you both have the same background you're able to speak Punjabi you're able to speak a different language yep. how was it like building that rapport with Avni from your perspective so the very first day when I met her she and me were not talking to each other because of the song shoot we had a hectic shoot and it was in 45 degree sun and we were barefoot so I remember that two days which was good at the same time because uh, the song was beautiful but after that we started talking and uh, we, we were like you know college buddies who know each other from long we were like we have that kind of vibe and uh, I met the beach parents also so we all started talking in Punjabi so there we gelled a lot when you have a person you talk to in your mother language so that's what we did and then we used to have fun on set and while you know, the friendship was like, whenever we had some dialogues, we were shooting, I started laughing. And once you know the person so much, and it happens, some, you know, while shooting, you start laughing on small, small things. So in totality, every day was, fun. it was like, a, uh, again, a college vibe, you know, you meet your friend, chill, you talk, you talk a lot, and you talk. Food, you talk about acting, you talk about random things. We used to go out after the shoot. We used to, there was a coffee shop nearby. So we used to take our team 
and even of each family also to wish to go come back to eat and that's it and get ready for the shoot that that sounds amazing now that that's the life that people aspire to you know when you work and you have fun um yeah as an actor you inspire many many fans um one thing i like to do is i like to just try to help my audience people who are seeing themselves in the actors in front of them i'm curious what advice would you give to an aspiring actor who's just starting out in the industry and wants to be the next sunny say i believe i think uh, consistency as you know everybody knows that consistency is more important and if somebody is starting with it they should understand that if you might get rejected you might fail but even if you cry that is your success because that is a part of your success if you don't do that if these things are not happening to you then how will you get your success ahead because the journey is long it can be short it can be like in a year somebody gets a movie but then there is again you need to maintain it you need to understand the craft more you need to take out time for your craft in a day so whoever does it and whoever whoever is mentally strong with time anyone can make it and it's just not me you know there are people who are like bigger actors out there in this industry who have started from scratch so once you start from scratch you don't know anything but when you don't know anything at least you know your craft your craft and your consistency will make you meet the right person at the right time i think that is what is more important and people even my friends who are who have started acting so even they come to me and they call me you know bro nothing is happening i said it will it is only you could not you don't have to be dependent on anyone if you are dependent on anyone the whole years you're going to be dependent if your confidence and you have you have that confidence in you about yourself that you are getting better and you are giving your time on your craft at the same time you know even if you cry it's okay everybody everybody does but you need to be mentally strong then you will then only you can make it this is what i this is what this is the best advice i can give that was beautiful thank you thank you. i i i felt that um hey again i'm sorry i i know you're really busy i um but this will be my last question um beyond love key arranged marriage what what kind of roles are you hoping to tackle in the future are there any specific genres or any types of characters that really interest you i really want to do a biopic a like a warrior bi- bio a gold i think uh, i'm i know my action bit i'm very good in action also so i really want to focus on that because i would love to do romantic comedies or action comedy or you know an unconventional film or a serious film but if you talk about biopics i really love and a warrior biopic is i'm looking for. awesome awesome thank you so much for your time i really appreciate it thank you so much uh sunny saying anthony with the movie blog i hope to get to speak with you on your next project absolutely i'd love to